Hello. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and I know pretty much everyone in here. That is so awesome. So um, thank you. Thank you for coming. The topic today is CR Sync CRM. No. Just <laughs> no, no. We are here to talk about my favorite topic, believe it or not. It really truly is. No, not net sheets. Really don't like those either. This one is list reports. And list reports, some of you know what it is, some of you have played with it, some of you have it, some of you have no clue what on earth list reports is. Okay, so for those of you who have no clue what it is, list reports is a platform, it's software, and it is free to you, Rock Title pays for it. Um, normally, if you signed up yourself, to get all the features we're going to give you, it would be $150 a month. We, it is zero. It is free. There's no charge unless you buy something. And there's only like three things to buy. So <laughs> most of it, all of it's free. Um, what it does is let's say you just get a listing and you've already signed up. You have your account. You get a listing. It will send you an email saying your marketing kit's ready. You have a full website for the property. You have open house flyers. You have email. You have um, listing flyers. You have everything you could think of. And it's already pre-made for you. But I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't have a listing. If you, somebody says, um, I just got a new listing on Facebook, and they're saying, you can feel free to promote. That means that you can take that person's listing, brand it to yourself, and blast it out on social media. And it looks like it's your own listing. But you have to have permission from the listing agent. Very, very, very important you have the permission from the listing agent. But this is a really cool way to get your, your face out there, your name out there, and to generate leads. And because this had, uh, has a text to lead capture code, which I'm going to show all of you, when you're handing out these flyers and you're door knocking or you're doing whatever, if somebody is interested and they text like Barbara to this 800 number, I'm going to get their cell phone and they're going to get a full website with all the pictures from the MLS on that property. And so instantly you have a lead and you've got someone on the phone. So it is extremely cool. I love it. And we, this is a kind of a workshop. So instead of me just sitting, I'm not going to sit here with a PowerPoint and just show you what it is. We're going to actually set up your profile. And we're going to go in, we're going to make them, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how each thing works. And I don't have a lot of time, so let's get started. I think it's going to be great. And hopefully, by the time you leave, you will know how to use this, and you'll be able to go home and do it yourself. Okay? It's recorded, Linda Jo. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be recorded, but it is. Okay, so. So it's YouTube? I don't know, Brianna. Yes. So if you have your computers and you have a List Reports account, do you see this page that I'm on? And if you don't, just follow along. But if you do, go to this page. The first thing you're going to do, yeah, but you have to be linked with us. But go ahead and go to listreports.com. If you haven't, I'll give it a moment. OK, log in. Oh, please do. Yeah. If I got an email from them, can I open it up and then go from there? Mm -hmm. I think so. I'll just give it a moment and let everybody who has it try to get logged in. This is just the home page. This is what comes in when you log in. Yeah, it's just the home page. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, because we were mouthing. You were mouthing? Okay, you know, I'm going to give you a pink slip and send you to the principal. <laughs> Yes. Hi, Joe. Yes, you don't want to go in that way. Okay. Um, I sent you, you should have an email. Okay. And it went to either junk or spam or okay. promotional, some stupid folder. Got it. But got it. it's there somewhere. Got it. You got it? Yes, ma'am. That's how you do. Accept the invitation. Got it. And then when you go in, this is how you're going to go into your account from now on. You must be paired with us. Okay. You good, Patrick? Yeah, I can talk to myself. Okay. That means you you never accepted the invitation. So I didn't. You go to your email and go look. Let's Google list reports. It may have been sent to you by Anthony or Tim a long time ago. It's one word. Oh, okay. I saw it come Oopsies. up. Yeah. All right. Any of them? I'll reset your password. Look at that. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. March 19th. It's okay. So that must be my doing that open house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. 
I don't know your name. Katharina. Hi, I'm Barbara. No, nice to meet you guys. You find it? Okay, we're almost ready. What's your first name? Sarah. Okay. I did. It's in junk. All right, Sarah, two seconds. I'll sign you up. I'll be right with well, one person at a time. But you can go to listreports.com, Judy, and if you forgot your password, just set, hit forgot password. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Sarah. S A R Hendricks, okay. <laughs> you don't want to, you never accepted the invitation then. Go to listreports.com and go log in. Did. I'll be right with you, Judy. Hold on. Sarah, is that correct? Uh, Wendy, are you in? Uh, it is not correct? One zero. Six. Yeah, S A H ten sixteen at Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Oh, sorry. User error. Okay. So, all right. I'll hit invite. All right. Let's get started. I'm gonna invite you, Judy. I was already in there. Do you want to follow? Do you want to follow along, and I'll meet with you after and sign you up? Well, just follow along, and well, let me just look. Judy Hirsch. All right. And this is you. Oh, you're not signed up. Okay, you'll be getting you'll be getting an email. Who knows? You'll be getting an email, and it'll be either in junk, spam, or promotional, and you have to go in through that. The, accept the invitation. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Thank you everyone for being patient as everyone else was catching up. Okay, when you... Hello everybody! <laughs> Welcome to the class. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started now. So um, may I have your attention please? The first thing you're going to do when you get into um, list reports, and if you don't have it, meet me after the class and I'll get you signed up and just follow along, this is recorded. But the first thing you're gonna do, the most important thing that you're gonna do is you're going to go up here to this little arrow and you're gonna to go to your profile, okay? Because you've got to have your profile set up properly or nothing is going to work. So the first thing you're gonna go is go to your name and click that little down arrow and you're gonna to go to profile. And you're gonna upload your photo. If you don't have it right this minute, you can do it later. But you want to fill this all in put your website in and click on this blue arrow down to where it says license and then you're going to put your license number. This is very important that you link your license to it because it knows when you get a listing. And so it'll pull all the pictures off the MLS and it will make your marketing materials for you, at least get them all started and it'll send you an email that says congratulations, your marketing kit's ready. Then all you have to do is click on it, go in and make your edits, which I'm going to show you what you need to edit to make it a good um, package. So anyway, you're going to scroll all the way down and you hit save. Okay? And um, then? Do they want us to put it in the MLS? Yes, you'll need to pick which MLS. So I right hear, for some reason, they don't call it LVR. They're still going, if you type in the word greater Las Vegas, you would have to add that one. Thank you so much, Linda Joe. You're welcome, honey. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't even know I had it. That's very important. I Okay. Were you able to get into your profile here? Are you following along? Okay. All right. So if you can, I'll give it just two minutes. Type really fast. <laughs> 
Thank you. I'm glad you have it, Linda Joe. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So anyway, once you finish this and you save it, we're going to skip text to lead code right this minute. Okay. Fill this all in, and then you're going to come up here to the top blue tab where it says company. You're going to put in Realty One Group. Where'd he, where'd he go to that Next to the word personal in blue. Wait, the word text at the lead code. Oh, she's doing Oh, ignore that for now. Go scroll down to the bottom and hit save. Okay, and then once you hit save, up on the top there's a little tab here that says company. You're going to go there, and you're going to fill that in. You're going to put your logo, and then you're going to hit save. You don't need that because you have your own license number. It's not necessary. And I wouldn't put the office phone either because you want all leads to come to your cell. So I would leave these two blank, but that's just my opinion. So, um, and then hit save. And that's all we're going to do here. So let me know when everybody's done. <laughs> well, you know, a long time ago, back in the old days when I worked here before, um, each rep had their own account, their own list reports account, and since then, Rock Title has combined us all into one. And there were some glitches when all that conversion happened about a year ago, and so that's possibly what happened to some of the accounts. But we'll get you all going again. Yeah, don't do it right now. Just ignore that. Okay, so now that you've filled in personal and company, we're done with the profile for now. You can look at this stuff later. I want to do what's most important because I want you to be able to use this. We're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to marketing kit settings, this blue one right here. Now this is where you're going to create your text to lead code. If, you'll, if you haven't set this up before, you'll have a little red button right here. It says create. So click on that. And it has to be 10 letters or less. Um, you could put, um, oh, okay. Click on your head. Click on your picture. Yeah, in the right top corner. I can go back. From home, you go to your name and then settings. Well, you know what? If everybody's willing, we'll just take this slow. And it, we might run over a little bit because we started late. but. Um, we want you to be able to use it. Yeah. I don't want you to leave here not knowing how to do this because it's awesome. <laughs> okay, marketing kits. Now, everybody create your text to lead code. Ten letters or less. It doesn't have to be your name. It could be I rock. You know, Are it we could the be. Only ones who see it? Huh? Are we the only ones who see it? No, it's going to be on signs. It's going to be on all your flyers. Oh. Um, so, like, if you text whatever this code is that you make. If you, this is for under a just listed sign. So if, you, if like anybody walking by or driving by text Judy Hurst to this 800 number, they're going to get a picture, uh, they're going to get a, all the houses that she has list reports for, and when they touch the picture of it, it's going to give them everything. All the pictures from the MLS, they can schedule a showing time, but the instant they do that, you get their cell phone. Uh -huh. they, it, you get a text message, and I'll show you how it works. Okay? If you are on a team or you work with yeah, but once it's used once, it's, it can't be used again. So um, like if you type in something and it says, sorry, something's gone wrong, somebody else has that name. So if you're working with a partner, you would do one or the other and one of you would get the leads and have to be honest and share. <laughs> sorry, I, yeah, it's just individualized. Okay, pick your color thing. Because we have to update your marketing kits to show the lead to text code. Okay. So okay. that's next. So if you only have one category, which for me is just the color. Mm -hmm. um, I, so you can actually click down here. Oh, then you are not paired with us. So I will meet with you after class. Okay. okay? So um, if you don't have the lead to text code, then you're not paired with Rock Title. But then you would just put in Realty One Group's colors because the colors are great, and that's your brokerage, right? Should be showing up on your brokerage. Okay. Now there is a really cool thing here on um, my market, and we can set this up real quick since we're here anyway. So the next tab over it says my market. 
and you can actually get a report, like if you work in 89135, right here, you can put in your zip code and hit save, and it will send you really cool reports on this zip code. Um, pre yes, Judy? Oh, no, no, no. We can do more than... You can do a bunch. Okay. Yeah, up to eight. Okay, so now we're all set up. You should be at this point. You filled out your profile and your settings. Now we're going to dig into the meat of this, okay? So we're going to start with the most important thing right now, and that is marketing kits. Over here on the left side in the black menu bar, you'll see marketing kits. Click on that. Now, some of you who've had this for a while will have a bunch here, and Judy will probably need to clean yours up. Um, for I mean, you've had a lot of listings, so that's a good thing that we're going to clean it up. But if you're brand new to this, you're going to click New Marketing Kit. Okay? And I've already picked an address. Now, what's cool, you can do your own listing. Now, please note, if you just put it in the MLS, it's not going to be able to pull the pictures yet if it's your own listing because it's too soon. You'll need to upload those from your computer, which is super easy. You'll have them saved to your computer, so it's not a problem. Now, if you are doing an open house or promoting someone else's listing with their permission, um, you will actually type in the address and it should pull up all the pictures. And I'm going to do that right now. I found a listing um, on the MLS and I'm going to type in the address. So we're actually going to make one. So it's 6524. It, it could be any brokerage? Any brokerage if you have their permission. So I Disclosure. Can I add yeah, something? No yes. So I saw somebody posted in the Summerlin group that 6625 South Basin Street that um, please feel free to advertise. Then yes, you take a pic, so take a snapshot that. of that so you have their permission. I, I <laughs> and you can type in that address right now and make a marketing kit as we speak. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. So anybody can Why do it. Do they they just read the address out loud if someone needs an address. 6625 South Basin. Two words. And the agent was Julianne Moss, who, our MSM, who posted it. Yeah. Feel free to advertise, advertise and help you to find a buyer for this beautiful, cool home. Perfect. And the address one more time? Smart route there. 6625. Six, 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 okay. Um, Salt, Salt Basin. Basin. Okay, let's do it, guys. All right, so now I have typed in uh, this address that I had pre chosen. Now, as you scroll down, you will see, now you can click here, you could do active listings, you could do um, FISBOs, under contract sold, but we're not going to worry about any of that right now. You can play with that on your own. We're going to do active listing. Now you'll see here it's already pulled in some information. It pulled in that this house has four bedrooms, four baths. For some reason it has no idea how many stories, but this is a one story house. It has brought in the square footage. Property type, we have to put in single family detached, and it brought in the price. Now, it also brought in the property description. Now, I want you always to read this. You'll see here that we have to remove 311 characters, okay? It's because there's way too many. And you also look for typos, and people do weird things in the MLS because they are trying to shorten words. So make it pretty, but I'm just, for, for um, time's sake, I'm going to get rid of, I'm just gonna go back and get rid of 311 characters. Come on. It's constipated. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have fun. Here we go. But come on, seriously. Move a little faster. Here we go, almost down to my number of characters. Perfect. My goodness gracious. All right, there we go. All right, so brand new carpet. We'll just get rid of that sentence so it doesn't look weird. Okay, here we go. Now, let's say you're doing an open house. If you aren't, ignore this, but if you are doing an open house, um, let's do the month of April. What is this Saturday's date? Anybody know? 19th? 19th and 20th? 20th. 20th. Okay, so April 20th. I'm going to do, wonderful, I'm going to do my open house from 11 till 4 because I'm a hardcore agent. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm staying. And I'm going to do another date. I'm going to do it on Sunday, too, because I've already put so much work into it. I'm going to do it two days in a row. And I'm also going to do it from 11 to 4, <laughs> because I'm hardcore. So here we go. <laughs> now, as you scroll down, you're going to see it found 46 photos. Because they're already in the MLS, and you, it's either your listing or you have permission, we're going to go ahead and pull. 
And the first picture is the main picture. So you have to do these one at a time. It would be lovely to pick five and go, but no, it doesn't let you do that. So I'm going to pick the exterior front. Now I'm going to click on the second picture, and I'm going to pick something cool. I'm going to pick well, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the image number three and pick a third photo. What's that lipstick for? One, two, nine, nine, and I love it. It is the coolest house ever. I actually was, I got sucked into looking at all the pictures. There's 76 of them. I'm like, oh, I wish I had $1.3 million. It's beautiful. The bedroom, the master bedroom looks like, um, where is it? Here is it. Sorry. Look at this master bedroom. I mean, this is a master. Look at this closet. I'm like, okay, I'm dying here. I, I love this house. This house is in 89131. It's 215 in Jones, north on Jones. And, um, and look at this backyard. I'm loving this house. So here's my five photos. As you come down here, I always just ignore. You can change color themes. But since you set your profile up properly, everything should be in there. So you don't really need to mess with that. And this extras instructions, that's just ignore it. You will never, ever need it. So I'm going to affirm that I'm the listing agent or I've been granted permission, and I'm going to hit submit. Congratulations. Woohoo! Now, this is my dashboard for my marketing kits, and you'll see this little cogwheel going around. So let's sit and give it a moment. It's processing. Kind of like when somebody says something to you and you're shocked that they say it and you're just sitting there processing, and an hour <laughs> later you realize, I should have said yeah, something right. back. <laughs> So we'll just give it a moment. Yeah. yeah, normally it just takes less than a minute. Um, but we shall see about the internet connection here. The description, does that come from the MLS? Yes, it does. But you can also so delete I need it. less characters on here than the actual MLS? Because life is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> or just go to chat GBT and find the shortest. Absolutely. OK, so you'll see that it did create a marketing kit. And you'll see that I have all these other ones on here that I made previously. So, um, but I'm, we're not even, I'll, go, I'll get back to that. So I'm going to click on View. Now when I click on View, it's going to show me everything it just created in less than 60 wow. seconds. That's awesome. It created social media shareables. Let's say I'm doing an open house. You know, it's, you can actually go here and <coughs> immediately you can select a template, okay? And you can um, choose your branding. And it'll be under Realty One. And copy this caption. And then you can download it, or we can hit Share. And I'm actually going to do this. I'll delete it because I'm not a realtor. But um, let's just say I want to type. Awesome house, holding open, whoops, I can't type, typos are bad, Hold, holding open, join me. But you would type something better, okay? So I'm going to hit share, and so I'm posting this. So I want to actually just show you that real quick. Does it make it um, like a pic collage, or the pictures are separate? So this is the actual post. Here's, this is my Facebook page, which I'm going to delete this before I get in trouble. But here, I just clicked this. So if I actually click on it, this is a Facebook post I just clicked on. And I, they can contact me. These are clickable links to see the house. They can look at the house and get all the pictures and view the photo gallery, all the 76 photos, all of that. This is a Facebook post I just made in like five seconds. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? So anyway, that was the shareable. Let me go back. So you said the logo, they have a section there for Realty One. Can they also get a logo? Or you have you would download the logo from the One Zone. Okay. Yeah, from the main One Dot Zone under Marketing. If you hit the down arrow, it says Logos. And you can save those to your computer and have those for everything that you need. But I haven't even got to the cool part yet. Let's go to the open house flyer, because this is what you're going to go door knocking with. Now, if you, um, 
I know, I know, Judy, don't sigh. We used to do that years ago. Yeah, yeah. Used to if you don't want to knock, if you don't want to knock, ask, ask. <laughs> yes, ask Nora Di Gregorio from American Home Shield or Stacia from Old Republic for a package. And please forgive me, girls, but ask them for a package of door hangers. They're going to be branded to the title to the. Rep the home warranty oh, company. Yeah. However, you're going to print out this flyer and you're going to staple it to it. And you're going to go and just paper the neighborhood if the HOA rules allow. Okay? So, but you're not going to do that immediately. If you see here, this is a beautiful flyer. It made it quickly. It's double sided. It has all the information about the neighborhood and the demographics on the back. Here's your date and time. But this, this is not done. This is what you needed to do, Judy, okay? So you're going to edit this kit. Every single time you get an email that says, congratulations on your listing, here's your marketing kit, you've got to go in and edit it. You want to add this lead to text code because you want to get the leads. This is the free, cheapest way to get leads. So we're going to go into profile and branding here. You'll see here I'm in edit marketing kits. And if you guys, if I'm going too fast, stop me. My timing rule is still going. Okay. Is that normal? Does it take that long? Different. So there's room? Yeah, I'll go slower. Oh, that's fine. Uh, right. So if you see this, if, as you scroll down, I'll go back to where I was. Okay, let's go back to Marketing Kit. Let me go to that Open House Flyer. Okay, I'm starting over. Open House Flyer. I'm going to go to Edit Kit. Because this is very important. This is crucial because you want to get leads. And the only way you're going to get leads off this, rarely will someone call you. Rarely will they remember to come. But if they're curious, there's a reason why they're curious. So you want to talk to them. You're going to scroll down to text to lead code, and you're going to toggle that on. Okay? That's all you've got to do. But it's vital. And hit update marketing kit. You have to toggle it on. I don't know why on earth they don't automatically do it. But they don't, and life isn't fair. You must go in and edit your marketing kit and toggle that on. Yes. Yeah. I'll show you. Um, let me go back into marketing kits. Wait a minute. You got to wait for my. I'll do it on this one. Let me open up this stable blend one. Okay. So here's one. I'm going to go down to the open house flyer, Wendy. I'm going to click on it, and you'll see I've already done it on this one. But I'm going to hit Edit Kit, and I'm going to scroll down to, oh, no, I can't talk to you right now. OK, come on. So this is happening. No, do not so click that. Don't click it. Okay. Because you want it you want to be able to use it on sign writers, you want to be able to use it on flyers, you want to be able to use it on anything you do. If you have a marketing kit for this and you're not let's say you make your own flyer, a custom flyer, you can put text Becker to that one eight hundred number on your own flyer. As long as you have a marketing kit and you've edited it and turned that on, that toggle on and off for the text code, you can put that verbiage on anything and it becomes a lead capture marketing piece. You can put it on the Facebook post, you can put it on anything because it's only to you as long. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So wait, I'll show Wendy for again. The for the, um, the text code, it has to be to the open house flyer or any of them? Any of them. Okay, you guys, here, Wendy, let me show you real quick. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to the open house flyer. Okay. I'm going to go just really edit kit. Come on, guys. Thank you. Now you're going to stop it. Life is not fair again. We've broken the system. <laughs> we broke the internet. I'll walk over to you, Wendy. <laughs> it's a workshop. Please be patient, everyone. Okay, Wendy. Click on here profile and branding. <coughs> And when you do that, scroll down to um, this toggle right there. Uh, okay. Yes. Perfect. Now and then you're going to scroll to the bottom. Oh, toggle it. I did. Oh, no. There, Turn there it green. We go. There we go. Now update. Hit an update. She doesn't have open house. Oh. 
Did you put because in date and time? Date, uh, okay. All right, everybody with me? Anybody have any questions? Okay, click on that. Profile and branding. Mm -hmm. And go to here, toggle that on. Go down and hit update. Yeah. Woohoo! You need to do that everything, for every single, every time. Life is. Yes, if you get a new listing. And anything you're promoting, you need to put that on there. The reason why is I'm actually going to show you what it looks like now, okay? Because it makes a big difference, and you'll see why. I can't control the internet, guys. Um, is it, when you text, is it case sensitive? No, it is not. All right, I'm going to have a little... Oh, I better delete that post. I'm not a realtor. Ooh, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going back in. For training purposes. Yes, it was for training purposes. I hope they'll forgive me. I'm, I went out and I'm going back in because that was frustrating. All right. Let's see this offer motto. Okay. It did it. <laughs> So here's the open house flyer with, now that I edited it, and I ch turned on the text to lead code, now you'll see here, text Becker to 1-800-701-6509. If anyone would like to do that, pull your phone out and open up text messages and type in that 800 number. Somebody do it, because I want... It's the same 800 number for every single marketing kit that you do and the same text code, and it's only to you. It's one... 1-800-701-6509, and then down in the message, type Becker, and it's not case sensitive. No, you can't move it. Mm -mm. The thing about list reports is super easy, it's very convenient, but you can't customize it much. So it also has a QR code. Yes, it has a QR code. Who did it? I did. I did. All right. I Wonderful. Click it. Okay, I am waiting for the text messages. Welcome. There it is. Okay, so now, but you need to press on the picture of the house. Can I borrow your phone? Yeah. All right, everyone, if you see. Whoop. Okay. Where's the text? Oh, it's so big. <laughs> Where'd it go? Jeez. Who, who did it and it worked? I did the text and I didn't. You got it? Okay. Okay, let me show everybody. Okay, this is, this is Wendy's phone. This is Wendy's phone. She just texted Becker to the 800 number, okay? You'll see that everything that's on my dashboard is here. That's why you want to keep your dashboard clean and only have a couple of houses there that you're actually working on. If something's sold, you'll remove it, and I'll show you how. But when she, this is, she just texted that. Let's say she was walking by or she got my little flyer on her door. She presses the picture of the house. Question. Mm -hmm. What happens if you have multiple listings? Then they'll all be here. And anybody can press all the pictures. So and you text it, it'll send you all the listings, not just the one? Okay. Yes. So you'll see here now it's pulling up. I'm sorry about the internet, everybody. Please forgive me. I can't control it. So it's just now it pulled up everything. Now, I just should be getting a text message. So about the home, it pull, it's a full website with all the pictures and um, the description of the home. There's a photo gallery with all 76 photos of the home and they can schedule a showing with me, and it's all branded to me, or to you. So they're texting uh, Becker to, to the 800 yes. number. Yes. Uh -huh. Where's the 800 number? The, everybody has the same 800 number, but the text code is linked to you. Oh, okay. And if you, for all the marketing kits that you have created that lead to text code for, they will all come up. Got it? Okay. 801. It's 1-800-701-6509. Anyway, the reason why that's so important is because you're going to get a text and then you'll just hit call right back and you're talking to that person. So this is a free lead. 
Absolutely. Now, I can also share this right to Facebook or share it somewhere else. There, You can put it on Instagram. You can download it for yourself and put it on Instagram. And it, anybody who looks at it on Instagram or on social media can do the same thing and do scan the QR code, and you instantly get their cell phone number. So that's why this is so important. Okay? So let's go back. But there's more. <laughs> so not only um, do you have your flyers, which you're going to use all the time, they, they've done everything. They've done just listed, open house, in escrow, coming soon, just sold, promotional. All of these are here. There's infographics. You can actually download all of these and print them and staple them um, and put them on the counter of your open house or of your house, um, your listing. Those are kind of nice. Gives you the schools and everything. Yeah, it gives you the schools. Sorry. So then um, down here, there's postcards. You can actually, let's say you, you wouldn't do, let's just say you just listed it. If you have a farm from Rock Tidal for that entire neighborhood and you would like to upload it and mail it, you can, it's, this is already made. It's not pretty, it's not gorgeous, but it's done. And it has a lead to text code so you can get leads for anyone this gets mailed to if they're curious and they scan that QR code or they text to that 800 number, you're gonna get their cell phone number. So that's why this postcard, it's ugly but valuable. All right, so you'll see the front and the back. It's already made. If you want to, um, you want to order it, um, <coughs> let's see, where is order? There used to be a button that says order. No, that's sharing. So you can put it on Twitter, email, LinkedIn, or Facebook. You, you can copy it, yeah. Actually, it's, in, it's probably under shop. I'll get there in a minute. So there's jumbo postcards, bigger ones. There's panoramic postcards. There's reports and presentations. This is super cool to put in your listing and also for open houses. You actually print it out, because the printing is free here if you don't go crazy. And you'll see all these pages. You can just print this out, staple it, and have it on the counter as a handout. Just something else that you can provide that makes you look like you did your work before you did your open house. That's why you show your work to the seller. Absolutely. Um, hold on. Let me scroll down the bottom. There's also a sign-in sheet. If you know, I, you know, you can definitely use Spacio, but there there is a sign-in sheet here. I don't want to copy it. And it's, you can just print it out. So if you're in a hurry and you just want a sign-in sheet, there is one there. Okay, so now I want to go back. Yes, we're going to go to the sign writers. I got to hurry because it's already 1145. But I want to show you real quick. Now, um, oops, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, no. Okay, to keep your dashboard clean, because I have so much more I want to show you. The only thing you want to just use, the, like if you have multiple listings, Chris, you're going to have all of them here. If you're working on multiple homes that you're promoting for people, you want to have them all here. But if something's sold and long gone, you click the little down blue arrow and you hit archive. The reason why is when somebody texts that your name to that 800 number, um, you don't want 30 homes. Okay, you want them to be able to find the home they're interested in immediately, within seconds. They must press the picture of the house or else you're not going to get the text code. You're not going to get the lead. So that's why you want to keep your dashboard clean because everything you have right here is going to go to that person's phone. You want to keep it neat and tidy. You want to keep it neat and tidy because you want them to press the picture. Can't you just go to the top where it says all marketing tips? Isn't there a drop down and just pick one at a time? Nope. You just got to hit view and edit. Okay. Any questions on marketing kits? Do you think it's cool or what? Yeah. So you can have it show again to do it like sold or whatever. Oh, you mean to archive? Oh, okay. So you hit marketing, the little blue arrow next to view. Do you see? Do you see the little blue arrow? And then archive. Can you do sold? You just leave it. You can. If you go to view and you go down to... Um, sold. Here's the email to post. To, this is a full website that you can post on social media, and there's also those flyers you can do. But I'll click on this, and it should say just sold. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, just sold. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So this is something you can literally just post right now, and um, 
and you want to type something about it, but I'm not going to, just for fun, I'm going to hit share, and it will go right onto Facebook. I mean, how easy is that? Okay? Share onto Instagram? Yes. So if I click here, um, nope, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and email, you can copy it, and then you're going to have to upload it. So, um, yeah, you can email it to yourself and then put it in there. But these are the ones that are instant right there. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and email and copy to yourself. Okay, I'm going to keep going because there's more. There's so many cool things here. I want to show you, um, gosh, well, first I'm going to just do this for like 30 seconds. Shareables. Shareables, every single day a new shareable comes out. Okay, so let's just say, um, what do I want to do? Let's look at the daily shareable just for fun. So let's just click on this one because it's the first one there. And let's say I want to share this. What was, no, why was the mortgage so clingy? It hated being alone. <laughs> it hated being alone. I hate being alone too. So I'm going to choose my branding and I'm going to call it um, Realty One Group. And I'm going to copy this caption because I'm in a real big hurry and I don't have time to mess with it. And I'm going to hit share on Facebook. This is my, and you could do this every single day. There's a new one. So let's say I'm going to go here and I'm going to go paste. Whoops. I don't want puny captions. What the heck? Where did it go? <laughs> Wait, stop. Everybody stop. There we go. All right. I'm going to. I'm just going to hit control V and hit paste and stop it. I don't want stop it. Why is it? Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to hit share. Hey, I have the same problems you guys have with pop-ups. It's like very frustrating. So here's my post. I'm on Facebook. Now look at this. You can actually write in here to search homes, click on the graphic or what picture or whatever. Because when they click on that, <coughs> This takes them right in to your one zone and looking, like it's all branded to you. It's not one zone, but they can search homes and they can see all the available listings. Everything here, they can schedule a viewing with you. Look, contact me to see this home. Everything is branded to you. So you could actually say click on my picture on Facebook to, um, to look at available homes. Isn't that cool? What listings is that showing? Like all of listings? MLS. MLS listing. So here's on Facebook. This is the post that I did in just a few seconds. And when you click on this, it opens up so they can look at all the homes available in the MLS and contact you. And they're branded to you. Isn't that neat? So that is shareables. There's a lot more there. Um, so that is on the left side under shareables. And there's a bunch of stuff there. Play with it when you have some time. There's daily, daily and shareable types. We're going to go into list packs. There's special occasions, hopey, happy home anniversary. You can make your own custom ones. Play with this. It's really cool. But I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to go into list packs because I think this is super cool. Now, we're going to create a list pack. This is something that you can post every single day on Facebook or wherever you want to post. This is, this is going to make it. So we're going to do a custom one just so I show you how. So, You'll see here there's some that are already suggested that you can click on, but I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to create new to show you how. I'm going to call this Summerlin Pool Homes. Done that before. I'm going to choose a cover. Now you, can, you may have a picture of a pool that looks like Vegas. If not, use one of these or whatever. You can upload your own. This description is unnecessary because it's just for you. I've already put in 89135, but let's say I want to include a new market. I'm going to hit Add New Market, 89134, and I'm going to hit Save, or do I have to search it? Sorry. I oh, don't know. I'm putting it. Yeah, you got to add it. So I'm going to hit Save. So I've got two zip codes. I don't care about the price. I don't care about bedrooms and bathrooms. I do want only single family homes. I do want a pool because I said Summerlin Pool Homes in those two zip codes. So I'm going to hit Create list Custom List Pack. And in a second, I'll get to say, voila. <laughs> yes. So now what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to copy this text. There are no homes. No pool homes for any price. Barbara. 
I'll show you. So I have to edit this anyway because it said there weren't any. Maybe there's there's got to be homes for sale. There is. Edit. Probably just not in some of them. Okay, so right here, when you're creating it, let's say I want to go homes with pools in eight nine one three five and eight nine one. Okay, I'll start over. That's how fast this is. Okay, so I'm going to click on list packs. I'm going to scroll down to create new, mm -hmm. and I'm going to call it um, homes with pools in 89135 and 89134, just for fun. I'm going to pick a picture, or you can upload your own. I'm going to put in 89135. All right, let's add. Let's add some here. Stop it. I don't think you put the criteria for the pool. That's why it didn't come Perhaps. up. Perhaps. All right, let's scroll down. Let's go price any. I'm just, I'm just going to, I just want it to work. I put single family homes and I'm putting pool. Let's try it again and create custom list pack. Success. Okay. Can I say voila again? <laughs> voila. Okay. Why is it doing this? I got the same, that's the same message. So it's oh, a I'm not a realtor. Yeah. I wonder if it's because I don't have an MLS no, number. Because there is no home well, with the pool available. Let's go oh, back. Cool. Did you click on I'm going to click on edit list pack. So if this happens to you, usually there are pools. Oh, you got to connect. Not necessarily right now. You could. There might not be. So we definitely let's get rid of pools just for yeah. fun right now. This is connected yeah. to the MLS. I'm not a realtor, though. How are you yeah, selecting the zip codes again? Because yeah. like it's grayed out like when we're trying to do it. Do you have a price range that you put in? I did. Oh, all right. Yeah. So we just move it right there. It won't last week because your zip code will go to the default. How come? Um, okay, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this. And it, when you say choose a market, can you click add a new market? Will it let you yes. do that? Uh, yeah. Let's try that. And I'm going to totally do a different zip code. Let's go 89138. And we're not going to worry about anything, but I'm going to add 89138. And I'm going to name this homes in 89138. It's very rare that this happens. Of course, it would happen today. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to do pools, homes. I'm going to do just do homes for sale in 89138. And I'll leave the picture of the pool because it's pretty. I've got all price ranges for now. I put single family home here. I got rid of pool, and now let's try it again. And I'm not going to say voila, because something's going wonky. <laughs> oh, I have to. I have to attach my. I have to in it enhance. I have to attach the MLS. I don't have an MLS. Enter MLS name. Greater. This. It's there. Is it called LVR? No, it's they want it under greater. Okay, I see it. I see it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, add. They're wanting my broker. Should I put my husband? <laughs> um. All right, all right, all right. Does anybody know? I know his. I know his email. Yeah, I know the name. It's sold at markotero.com. Is that what we would all do? No, that's his personal one. I don't know what his his work email is. Probably Mark Otero. Mark Otero. Mark Otero. Mark Otero. 
Otero at realtyonegroup.com. This is new. Um, when I taught this class before, it never asked me for this. So, but that is what I'm typing. And let's see if it'll work. Oh, it says enjoy it. Okay. So, you have to put in the broker. Okay, so do you want me to go back and show you where to p add the broker? Yes. Okay, under your name in the upper right hand corner. I would do Tim. Under profile? No, you would do Mark Otero. So, on, on here, under your name, under profile, company, I believe it would be. No, that's brokerage license. Yeah. I know, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm looking under settings now. I, I'm looking, guys. Give me a second. Personal profile. It's under personal, perhaps. You're probably getting a million emails right now. <laughs> <laughs> you authorized Joanne Haley. No. Yeah, I just went to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't. I don't know where to add Mark. Mike. Mike did it. He does it here. He was you did it. Yeah. It was where you were under like where you did those right now. Maybe All right. Just All right, well, we'll do it again. You guys are going to, hello. My, my, my apologies. They have made some changes. All right, 89135, we're not going to do that. We want to delete that. I want this one, 89138. I'm not going to worry about the prize. Single family. Is yours Michael? I think it was like where you were putting in the zip codes. That's yeah. where. Okay. Like if you pull up that whole thing, that's where the. All right. It worked. It, it doesn't have that now that I connected. Now where where you connect it, what what um, Stacy <laughs> was saying is you click Edit List Pack, and is it was under the zip code area. That's where it was asking for the MLS. <laughs> but since I added it, it's no longer asking. Okay. So would you? I put 89138, like Linda Jo Brown said. So, okay, so let me just show you what this is and why this is cool. Then you'd add it as a new one. You'd click Add New. Now, I'm going to copy this text and we're going to share it on Facebook because I want to see, I want you to see what this is and why it's cool because it's super cool. And I'm just, it's my first class in two and a half years, forgive me. I am. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Here it is. I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste that and I'm just going to hit share. Just and please somebody remind me to delete this before we leave because I'm not a realtor. I am not a realtor. Okay, check out these great homes in 89138 for Wednesday, April 17th. Contact me when you're ready to start your search. So, if anyone clicks on this, they're going to get all the homes for sale in 89138. No, I didn't ask for pools, okay, so, and I didn't put in prices. There's 91 of them. That's an awful lot. So you want to um, make it a smaller search criteria, but I'm just going to click on this. It's going to give me all the pictures and the description on the house. Isn't that cool? So let's get rid of that. And as you scroll down, it has the description of the home. It has any open house information. It has the property details. It has the schools. Uh, the demographics, a mortgage calculator, and it's branded to you, and they can contact you right here to get a showing. So this is a, a free, easy, simple way to post on Facebook every single day this ad, and you can do a shareable, wherever it went. Well, if I click on my face, hang on, let's go to my page. So there's my posts. I just did two. Aren't they cool? They are cool? They really need to go away. So. On your top left, when you look at the, um, the, I don't know, the, when you clicked on the picture, mm -hmm. and I brought you through all the listings, mm -hmm. um, yours says Barbara Becker, but mine just says my last name. Then we need to go into your profile okay. to um, make sure that it is, everything comes from that profile and the settings, okay. everything does. So um, let me get this out of my Facebook and let's go back. So let's go back to home. 
Now, I need to show you something else, and it's 12 o'clock, but I'm, I'm talking as fast as I can. Questions on that before I move forward? Not yet. Do you like it? Yes. Um, we'll have to ask Brianna. 24 hours. 24 hours? Okay. I wish that this had been... It's still going. So now I want to show you something else. Now you'll see here on this left menu, yours, there's like my loan officer, that would be rock title, my leads. This, if you get leads, they go into here. There's list packs, we did marketing kits. There's marketing insights, shareables, we talked about all that. But if you go down here to the grayed out areas, you'll see this word shop, okay? So when you click on shop, <coughs> shop now, this is if you are, for instance, you want, you're having an open house and it's a really nice neighborhood, and you're focusing on that neighborhood, it's your farming area, and you want to, you're willing to spend 50 bucks. If you click on this Open House Facebook Fast Blast, this is $50. It creates an ad for you on Facebook that will run for 48 hours, and it will go to up to 1,000 people surrounding your open house. Anyone who opens Facebook or opens their iPad, your ad's going to pop up, telling them about your open house. You can also do this for just listeds and just solds. Just listeds, I believe, run for four or five days, and just solds run for seven days, so they're slightly more. They're like $75 and $100, but they run for more days. So these are automatically customized, clickable, lead generating Facebook ads that are done in a second. Um, probably reach more people than door knocking. Yes, okay, probably so, more. Okay, so is that Facebook ads through your Facebook business page? You'd have to, um, when you put your links in there for your social media, I don't know, I, let me click order now. I wonder if it'll let me do anything. Well, let's just, I've never done this before because I never wanted to pay, but let's go open house Facebook details name. I don't know. So who but. does it market to? It Houses market surrounding to? it. Houses surrounding it. Um, let's see what it just said. Hold on a second. It says your campaign will reach up to a thousand people near your listing. Advertising will display on Facebook and the campaign will run for 48 hours. So it's just houses around it in the surrounding area. Um, let me go back to, let's see. So the ones for just listed are $75 and those run for five days up to a thousand people. It'll, it'll um, yeah, it's just, it targets the neighborhood. I know. So it's because you have to, if you advertise on Facebook, mm -hmm. it has to be through a business. Right. We'd have to try it. We'd have to, we'd have to try it. I wonder if you put your Facebook. It's not a sponsored ad. This is a paid ad. It's got to be through business. Okay. I'm just testing this for fun right now because um, I've never done this before. So eight nine one three one. Oh, they're gonna make me pay. Oh, here's how it works. So it says, "Congrats on your." So this is what the ad looks like. Sorry, I should have scrolled down. Yeah. So that's what it's gonna look like, and people can click on it. So this is a pop-up ad that's gonna come onto Facebook's around the house. Suggested to post. Okay. Suggested post. It says suggested <laughs> post. <laughs> but anyway, just know that that's there. If it's something you want to try, and um, and see if you like it, if you think it's worth it. I don't. I never say spend any money. I would just do the free door hangers and put them out if you want. And I would try to talk to as many sellers as you can, and that sort of thing. But if you do want to do that for an open house, it's called Facebook Fast Blast, and it's down here under the word shop. And also, if you would like to buy these, um, if you have listings coming up and you would like to use these lead codes, if you go to Reusable Sign Writer right here. That, this is what they look like. So any of your listings, this would be hanging outside your listing so that, uh, this is very old and it's been in the basement of uh, her garage, <laughs> the garage underneath a bunch of stuff. But she dug it out of yesterday and found it for us. So this would hang under your just listed sign so anybody walking by or driving by, they can text Judy Hurst to this 800 number if she's updated her marketing kit 
and she will instantly get their phone number on her phone and they she can go and show them the house and maybe double end it that'd be awesome if that is what she wants to do or have an agent of hers do it for her but how many writers I, I have to see how many writers there are let's see yeah, like i think 10 you did 110 so how many 110 dollars for 10 if you want to order one one is fifty dollars. You can get ten for one hundred and ten. Four are seventy. So anyway, that is that is another option if you want that. And I will give that baby back to you. Okay. Any questions on list reports? And here's my home. And there's a lot of stuff. Play with it. Have some fun. There's notables. So there's things that you can share. Other things you can share like. Housing, let's say rents picking up again. Oh, that's a good one. Let's get buyers to buy. Rents are picking up again. There's another shareable right there. Choose your branding, click the caption, and hit. So there's a lot of stuff on here, guys. You just need to play with it. And if you do not have your account yet through Rock Title, um, just stay after the class, and I'll get you signed up. And um, I'm here open for questions now. When you say account, you talk log in? Just to log in. Because mm -hmm. I did it while we were in class. Okay. And they responded and, and, res and set it up for me. I mean, Who? sent me a reset for Okay, password. so we just need to um, reset your password and then create your profile and settings and put your picture in there, the Realty One Group logo. Does everybody know where to get the logo? Yes, I don't know how to right. do Okay. Huh? Do you need to know? Do you, well, let me just show you. So if you go to the one dot zone, Thank you, everyone, for coming. And if you have to leave, I know we've run over. But um, there was a sign-in sheet. Just make sure everybody signed in. Oh, I need to sign in. Oh, I want to go. Oh, you want something cute? Yeah, one one so the logos. Whoever was interested under from the one zone, you go to marketing logos, and there's all the logos to download. Jinko. Okay. I will help you, Anne, in a minute. Anybody else have any questions? I haven't scanned it, but my wife will. Okay, we'll figure that out. <laughs>